Hi everybody. So I'm on today because I just feel um, that <laughs> I needed to get on and do kind of a special video. You know, I've been doing a few here and there, so more so lately when I've been feeling prompted to share some things or get a message out. Um, I'm trying to go with that and relay it to you guys. So I'm not going to do a channel today. It's more like um, I'm just being told to share some insight about um, a few topics. And this one is, it is kind of a tie between love and fear and good and evil. So, if nobody thinks there's such thing as good and evil, <laughs> well, that's your choice to believe that. But, um, I happen to know that there is. Now, choosing to be afraid, knowing that there is, is a whole nother, that's a whole nother feeling, okay? So, if you're afraid to hear that there's such thing as good and evil, or afraid to know there's such thing as good and evil, then that is a block within yourself that needs to be cleared. Now, when you live and walk in the path of love, and you know that there is good and evil, you're better able to address it and know it's there, address it and not be afraid to face it. So when I say facing it, I mean the biggest thing is just knowing it's there. That's the biggest thing you can do to face it. The next thing you can do is know what you're up against because if you just ignore the darkness, if you just ignore the evil that there is, it's not going to go away. It's, it's actually feeding it. It is feeding it. It is better to know and choose to do something or know and choose to kind of remain in the middle, but some people are warriors and they fight and they fight the dark and we fight the dark and we spread the truth because that's another thing. Sometimes the truth is not, a, a lot of the time, the truth is not always pretty. Now, it is when you get through it, but what you might consider negative, which is things like children being taken and terrible things done to them, that might be a negative thing, but it is real, whether you want to believe it or not. And it's something that needs to be shown. It's truth. It's not pretty, but it's truth. And when you know about it, you can easy handle it easier. So if you know, then if you feel that and it hurts, then you, then that comes down to then we all have our own places. We have all our, we all have our own um, purpose and um, journeys and paths. So, however you're best at handling that, which can be mentoring children, going and adopting them, going and just spreading love and light, spreading truth, giving articles. So, there's so many different ways, um, or if you're in the inside, you know, people physically can do things. But, so there's so many different paths we all have. But it's just knowing the truth out of love and light that matters the most. Because remaining in the middle 
is feeding the bad, the evil. And I mean, what I'm talking about evil is like evil what in your Bible and in your religion you would probably call demonic. I'm not talking about bad people who make, or bad choices people make. That's totally different. That is... That's normal. People go through these things. What I'm talking about is there's truly something going on, whether you want to face it or not. But I'm reaching out today to ask for you to please face it. Please look at truth, whether it's something you want to hear or see or not. It's still there regardless. And if you are a caring person, which I know many people if they could see the truth right in front of them, everything that was true right in front of them without being manipulated by evil, because <laughs> that's what they do, tricking, that's what they do. If you could see everything in front of you, I guarantee most humans would choose. They would choose the good, the love, and the light. But we're so falsely led from the time we're children at this point falsely led into thinking that the people who are telling the truth is the truth when it's in fact we've been conditioned and the people who seem like they're telling the truth on TV um, sometimes in the education system especially when you get in college but I mean that's actually not the truth that's so far from it. They're, it's a, it's tactics, you know, I mean, you know, in your Bible, you know, in your books, they tell you the best thing they use is trickery, manipulation, brainwashing. These tactics are being used by evil people. That's why you do not want your rights and freedoms to go to a group of people and in many places it has and we do not need it here none of this also and I I really hope that you can understand none of this is to fear you it's actually the complete opposite if you're too afraid to look at the truth you live in fear period if you're too afraid you're going to go to hell, you live in fear, period. What love is, what true love is, through God's love and light, which is truth, is facing what is true and real, digging deep inside yourself, your heart, your, your soul, and then you get the knowing of what's really going on. You get the vision and the knowing in your deep in your soul where you know you always question things when you start at ans getting in there your questions will be answered it's in yourself it's not on TV it's not it's not on TV it's not at school it's not anywhere but in yourself and people like us who have been there can reach out to try and help you to see that so yes, we are people that you should maybe at least think about, um, think about and listen to, and but it's still in yourself. No matter what I'm telling you, we tell you, go in yourself and find the truth. And it will tell you. You block out the ego. Ego is part of this world that is right now under control of evil. And we're trying to get out here and spread the truth and love and light. And you cannot truly see truth until you face fear. You have to do everything through love. The intention of good and love. And that's where you find truth in yourself. And it will tell you that you don't <laughs> need to watch TV or listen to everything you hear from school or listen to even your neighbors necessarily or you know that none of that matters when it it does we need to connect and love that's period it but we need to be more in tune with what's really going on 
And the only way to do that is in yourself through truth and love, not through fear. And then all that, of course, ties into balance, and that's a whole nother topic. But right now, the biggest thing is just that. Sorry, I'm going to come over here. Right now, the biggest thing is just that. Okay, sorry. Um, yes, living in love, not fear. We need to get out of that mentality. Everybody needs to get out of that mentality of being afraid. God is love. And love is in your true divine self, which you find in your center. And that's where all the truth lies, and you can find everything you need. So, that might be it for now. That is it for now. And please, if you have any questions, any concerns, any fears, it's normal. We've been programmed. <laughs> We've been taught fear our whole lives. So, if it's normal to be afraid. But now the next step is getting out of being afraid and getting into love. These are your main emotions, love and fear. And you want to do everything you can out of love. And right now, much of the world, and it hasn't been for a while, is living out of fear. So please, awaken, open your heart, open your soul, and feel it. And if you need to reach out at all, need any help, I'm here and there are many others of us who are here to help and awaken, spread the love and light. It's real and it's beautiful. And when you come to the love and light, you are always taken care of. And the good and love and God is always here for us. And it feels so good. It feels so good. And I invite you. We want you here. Love you all so very much. Peace, love, light, and namaste.